TFX Khan is the first domestically produced fighter jet produced by Turkish Aerospace Industries and in this video we are going to discuss its capabilities and mostly its design and we will compare it to other stealth fighters produced by the USA, China and Russia. Let's quickly dive into its origins. Why Turkey designed this aircraft in the first place and why it is very important for them. Turkey has been ejected from the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program in July 2019 due to political conflicts with the United States caused by the acquirement of S-400 air defense systems. Although the Khan project saw the green light a couple years before this event in 2016 after Turkish officials placed a bid for a domestically designed and produced fifth generation fighter jet. The initial plan was to deploy a high-low mix similar to the US with their current F-22 and F-35 jet fighters. The United States have been using the high-low mix ever since the production of the F-16 fighter jet in the 1970s. This military strategy consists of a high-capability expensive fighter jet combined with an affordable and somewhat expendable light fighter. Despite Turkey's early vision of flying these aircraft in tandem, the ejection caused Turkey to ramp up the production for the TFX project, which took flight in February 2024 for the first time. If you're someone who's interested in fighter jets, you might have noticed the striking similarity between fifth generation fighter jets across all countries and all new fighters. There are several theories and claims as to why these fifth generation fighters look eerily similar to each other. The most prominent theory is that there are only so many ways to avoid radar detection while still retaining maneuverability and reduce drag. Also coming up with a completely organic and unseen design is likely not the best economical choice for most countries. These aircraft serve similar purposes and are built with similar design philosophies in mind. This effect could be seen in this picture here pretty well. Bear in mind these fighters are both built with air dominance in mind and are both fairly large fighters, with the F-22 boasting a 19 meter length compared to TFX's slightly larger 21. When it comes to the specs of these fighters, TFX has a much larger wing area compared to the F-35, which is normal since the F-35 has a much smaller footprint and is a single engine fighter jet. The smaller wing area compared to the F-22 might suggest that Thai Industries did not aim to match the F-22 or the Su-57 in terms of agility, although the aircraft is still at its infancies and it might generate lift through vortex, similar to the F-35. Rest of the specs are relatively unimportant for now as they are subject to change with future iterations. Not to cram too much information in a single video, Many aspects of this domestic effort have been left for other videos. As you might have seen, in this channel we will discuss, explore and dive into many aspects of military aircraft and hopefully create a community of like-minded individuals. Thank you for watching.